These questions attempted more than once will be awarded zero. Write the correct question number as it appears on the question paper. This is very important. Many students make a mistake here. When I say 10 questions, all the 10 questions should be answered one below the other in a sequence. There are 8 boxes. Each box carry half a mark. So put together, it's for 4 marks. Hello everyone, I'm Babita Tamaya, lecturer, Department of English, Vidyashram Pre-University College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. In my today's session, I'll be discussing the model question paper. The number of questions in the question paper is 30. So put together, we have 30 questions and you're attending the paper for 80 marks. As you all know, the 20 marks is your internal assessment and the time given for you to complete the 80 marks is 3 hours, 15 minutes. So before moving on to the model question paper, we have some instructions given in the question paper because most of the students doesn't read this instruction. Let's see the instruction before we move on to the question paper. The first point, follow the prescribed limit while answering the questions. So each and every main, they have given the prescribed word limit. Make sure that your answer will be within those word limits while answering the questions. Second, Write the correct question number as it appears on the question paper, which is very important because in English from question number one till question number 30, it's a continuous number. So make sure that whichever the mean you answer, the you will write the correct question number as it appears on the question paper. Third point, for multiple choice questions, choose the correct answer. So, you all know MCQs, there are four options. Don't write the option like A, B or C and leave it. You have to write the answer. Don't write the option and keep. Please make sure that you'll write the answer and rewrite it. These questions attempted more than once will be awarded zero. So, the MCQs, if you try to attempt more than once and it will be marked zero, it will be awarded zero. No marks will be given. Answer to question number 25 and 26, 29 should be in a sequence at one place. So when I go with the question paper, you will get to know about the question number 25, 26 and 29. So when you attend the question number 25, there are 10 questions under that. So all the 10 questions should be in a sequence. Same thing with 26 and 29. These are the few instructions which you have to follow during your board exam. So now let's move on to the question paper pattern. The first main, answer the following questions by choosing the right option. In the first main, you have 10 questions. Each question carries one mark. So make sure that you will go on with all the chapters for the one mark question answers. We cannot predict any one mark question from particular chapter. So be thorough with all the 14 chapters. So the first main, you have 10 questions. All the 10 questions are mandatory. You have to attend all the 10 questions. Next question number 11, fill in the blanks by using the right form of the verb given in the brackets. So here, this question that is the verb will be asked for two marks. So there are two blanks, each blank carries two marks. Make sure that you will read the lessons because the questions are picked from the chapters what you have in your textbook. Question number 12, fill in the blanks with the right form of the linker. So it's for three marks. You have three blanks and the answers are given here. You have to read the question thoroughly and then fill the blanks with the right form of the words given in the bracket. And when you attend the grammar part, make sure that you'll write only the answers with the correct number as it appears on the question paper. Question number 13, match the column A with column B. So you can see the column A and the column B with the story of any of the chapter along with expressions or idioms and phrases. So there are five questions. Each question carries one mark. The next main that is answer the following choosing at least two from poetry in a paragraph of 80 to 100 words. So these are the questions for four marks. So you have to choose 
two questions from poetry because it's already given in the question paper. Two questions picking from the poetry is mandatory. So put together your answering six questions for four marks. So here when it comes to the poetry, before it was all the chapters, however the chapters are there in your textbook in the same way the questions was given. But now in this year, they have just separated the prose and the poetry. First four questions will be from the poetry where you have to opt any two questions and the next will be the prose question answers. Here you have to opt four. So put together you're answering six questions for four marks. Third main, answer the following in about 200 words. So when I say 200 words, it's a six marks question. You have an option, you have two questions, out of two you have to answer any one. So when you write the answer for six marks, make sure that you'll write a note about the author, then the next paragraph you'll write the introduction, then come to the main answer, write the conclusion and the critical analysis. This is how the presentation should be uh, written in your answer script for six marks question answers. Four marks you'll write a note about the author and then the answer. For six marks you have to write a note about the author, introduction, main answer, conclusion and critical analysis. I hope I'm very clear with the six marks presentation. And the next Again, it's a passage which there for 10 marks. You might have been known about the unseen passage. So you have an unseen passage and there are 10 questions. This is the question number 25. When I say question number 25, as I told in the instruction, there are 10 questions from A to J. So when I say 10 questions, all the 10 questions should be answered one below the other in a sequence. When I say sequence, it should be like A, B, C, D, E, F. You cannot write A, and then G and again come back to B. No, you cannot do this. This goes wrong. So all the 10 questions from A to J should be in a sequence for question number 25. Moving on to question number 26. Here, what do the underlined words in the following paragraph refer to? It's an extract or you can, we can also say it has a pronoun. So there are four blanks. Each blank carries four marks. How to just read the passage. A small passage is given and the words like his, it, which and they. Whom do they refer to in the particular paragraph? This is what you have to do for question number 26. Moving on to question number 27. Question number 27 is complete the dialogue. So complete the dialogue is for three marks. You can see three blanks. Each blank carry one mark. So when you attend this question, make sure that you will write the complete dialogue and then write the answer and underline the answer. Please don't write only the answer and keep. You have to write the complete dialogue and then you have to underline the answer. That is for the question number 27, dialogue writing. Moving on to question number 28. 28 is report the conversation. Don't get confused with report the conversation or report writing. Report the conversation is nothing but indirect speech. So everything will be in the direct speech with the inverted commas, question mark, where you have to remove everything and write it in the indirect speech. So this question carries four marks and the answer to be written in a paragraph, not like the dialogue. You cannot write the answer in, in the dialogue form. It should be in a one single paragraph. So this question carries four marks. Question number 29. Read the following passage and make notes by filling the boxes given below. So you can see the passage here and below you can see the boxes. So there are eight boxes. Each box carry half a mark. So put together it's for four marks. When you write the answers here, you have to draw this table. This table is mandatory because read the following passage and make notes by filling the boxes. You have to draw and then fill the boxes. When you fill the boxes, read the heading, main heading, and then you can see the numbers like one, two, three, four, five. So based on that, please read the paragraph and then start filling the boxes. So this question carries four marks. There are eight blanks. Each box carries half a mark. 
the last question which is very important and it's a mandatory question you don't have any option it's a letter writing write a letter of application in response to the following advertisement which appeared in the hindu dated 10th march 2024 and here you have to write your name as xx and your address as yy when you're attending your board exam make sure that no where you'll write your name and the address so always your name and the address to be xx and yy and you can see the wanted here you wanted as computer operator qualification any degree might be ba bsc bcom or bba any degree and the candidate should know the language like english kannada hindi typing excel tally and basics that is the computer knowledge also you should have and for whom are you going to apply you have to apply to the manager nidima finance private limited vishwa complex lot number 176 bhavish nagar bangalore 520741 so this is the address for whom you have to write the letter for the computer operator so this question carries four marks when you write the letter make sure that you'll write the covering letter in a fresh leaf and the resume in the other page if you have written one sentence or a word please don't write any letter writing or the covering letter always your letter writing should be in the fresh page and next it will be your resume if you write so much you will get five on five make sure that you'll not lose your marks here in the letter writing because the format each and every one knows learn the format and learn the resume what comes one after the other if you know it very well you can fetch five on five here hope i'm clear with the model question paper all the best thank you